hey guys welcome back to bookie otv if you're new here thank you for stopping by to all of you that keeps coming back to watch my videos thank you guys so much for your support if you are yet to subscribe can i quickly remind you to hit on that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell and what that does is anytime i upload new video onto youtube you lovelies at home will get a notification so i want to quickly share this with you guys this couple pictures went viral on the social media, you know, for the last um, couple of days. And when I came across the pictures on the internet, so I was like, okay, what is wrong? These lovely two people are getting married and what is the, you know, what is people's headache about it? The pictures went viral, not because um, most people are happy for them not because most people are congratulating them but because they are sad about seeing a big woman getting married to a medium you know a medium-sized man because I won't say the husband is skinny the husband is not skinny and is not big but it's just an average man so when I saw people's comments on the under the pictures so i was like what is wrong with people when will african people change their mentality so an average man cannot get married to a big woman because you know under the comments people were saying no oh, she's too fast she's too this she's that she's this but the thing is if the husband is not complaining if the husband is happy getting married with her i don't see why people should you know use panadol for another man's headache i don't see the reason why people should feel sorry for the man he saw the woman and knew she was big before choosing her to get married to her 99.9 comments on that the pictures were negative so i don't know why people are so bitter this man is not complaining as you can see in the picture they are both happy when i check the profile of those who left the most annoying negative comment under this couple's pictures i found out that most of them are ladies i found out that most of them are slay queen i'm probably wondering why would a big woman find the lover of her life and they that their slay queen couldn't find a suitor so i believe that is where the bitterness is coming from from the ladies who left negative comments about this couple's you know getting married to each other so i'll let you guys read some of the comments and i will be back I met her on the roadside, her name na Carolina, much while I see more better, only keep my bottom. I tried to express my feeling, she said I'm a dreamer, she said I'm going to offer. there is this particular comment someone left on the picture and this um comment got me really upset the comment says am i the only one who starts imagining how possible is it for certain do do do, -do position to be enjoyed when you see one partner so bigger than the other imagine how is that somebody's else headache if you like go marry thin woman if you like marry 
average woman. If you like, marry the most biggest woman in the whole world. That is nobody's business. You go for your choice. That is why, you know, we are named differently. That is why you are, your name is your name. And that is why my name is Buki. Our names are different. We are from different family. We are from different background. And we are from different country and states. You know, so do what makes you happy and let people do what makes them happy. This man chose to go for the bigger woman. Then you choose to go for the thinner woman if that is your choice. Or go for the medium-sized woman if that is your choice. But coming on people's wedding picture to leave such comments is not nice, people. If people are really concerned about the woman having children, in the future because of our weight let a doctor tell her that you are not a doctor and there is a comment i forgot to screenshot that comment says um you never born and you don't fat to reach like this what will not happen if you start having children man i read that comment and i shook my head for that lady that left the comment because who are you to tell her you know, she never born and she don't fat to reach like this. Who are you to tell her that you are not in any way or in any way better than this woman? You know, so when I read comments like that online, I begin to wonder why people think with their feet. You can be going from one social media to another and put your brain under your feet. It's not done. When you go on people's posts, put on your thinking cap and reason like an adult or like a reasonable person. Another thing people were saying is that the husband got married to her because of her father's money. And okay, now let's assume it's true. The husband got married to her because of her father's money why is it your business why is it your headache why do you have issue with that leave that to her father and her family to figure out if the love was real or her husband genuinely got married to her leave it to the family to decide leave leave it to them to see for themselves you are just trolls on the internet you don't even know these people in real life you probably you know are just seeing the couple's picture for the first time you probably don't even know the man or the woman but you are there commenting staying behind your device leaving all sorts of nonsense on the wedding post it is so uncalled for you guys should stop the bullying you should stop bullying people you should stop body shaming people you know what what happened to this couple like the way their pictures went viral not everyone could stand it right some people could not stand such thing while some people have thick skin to stand it imagine if she's the type that cannot stand body shaming bullying this is one of the ways some people take their own lives because when they can't stand bullies then they'll fall into depression and from there, they will take their own life. Your stasha do not have anything to do with marriage. Being fat, being big, being thin, being thick, being slim or whatever does not have anything to do with marriage. The most important thing in marriage is love. A thin woman can get married to a big man and, you know, vice versa. So seeing a big woman getting married to an average man doesn't mean the man is in love with her father's money. And if that is the case, then let it be. Leave them. I've seen average men who cannot get married to average um, ladies. They love bigger women. And I've seen some average ladies who cannot get married to um, average men. They love bigger men. So it's their choice. We have different choice. We 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 make different choice. Is their choice? Let people choose what they want. Let people choose what they like, what they are comfortable with. There might be something very unique about this woman that made her husband to get married to her. You never know. He might find some great qualities in her that he probably didn't find in some other skinny or average women. That made him got married to this woman you never know this woman might have all the qualities that a man is looking for in a woman you never know so before you judge people 
make sure you are in their shoes stop trolling people stop body shaming them it is very very wrong it is not everything you must agree with when you see things on social media you don't have to agree with it if you don't have any positive thing to say about it just to move on move on to the next one so guys leave your comment in the comment section below what is your thoughts on this issue i would love to know what you guys think about it make sure you comment below and i will see you lovelies in my next one if you are yet to subscribe let me quickly remind you to click on the red button that says subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so anytime i upload new video onto youtube you lovelies at home will get a notification bye bye